I'm not fucked. He's fucked. Well, okay. But I'd be lying. Well, that's a relief. I'm gonna have to get some help, man. Hey, hey, hey no way! Okay, so it's December 22nd. And we got our first issue with the Weber Smokefire Sear Plus. <clears throat> we have an auger jam. And this is after I have been very good uh, with emptying the bin and not letting pellets disintegrate into the hopper when I've been using it. And just when I needed to cook up some, <laughs> some ribeyes for our guests tonight, I have an auger jam. And according to the instructions, we need to... Uh, remove, I guess, the entire auger and motor assembly from the back of the grill. So, I guess we're not using the smoke fire tonight to do the ribeyes. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the Oklahoma Joe's Firecraft. We're going to get some wood on there. And we're going to finish the ribeyes on this because we have that. Okay, so as you can see, um, I emptied all of the pellets uh, down into the bucket. And I cleared out the auger here pretty good. And um, poking around uh, with my screwdriver, I don't, I don't see anything that's jammed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to start it back up on its restart procedure. And I'm going to see if the auger turns. And then uh, we'll go from there. Well... <clears throat> I did, redid the startup procedure, and uh, everything seems to be going typically as it does with the modulating fan. The auger moved maybe about a quarter of a turn, um, and now it's not moving. At this point, we'd start to have some smoke. We'd start to have some fire in the firebox. So obviously, there's an issue with the auger part that I can't see. So I guess we're going to have to take this back panel off right here and we're gonna have to get into there as per the directions say and we're gonna have to take this auger out and see what the obstruction is and I thought I'd bring you along here while I'm doing this so I got all the grill grates out I got the flavorizer bars off uh, dusted off the upper half uh, removed the firebox cover and you can see uh, this is about half of the ash buildup that was in here. Uh, they recommend that you remove everything before you start taking your auger apart. So I figured, well, if I'm gonna have everything taken apart, you know what, I might as well just give her a little clean while we're here. But um, this is basically what the inside of your ELX or your EX is going to look like um, after you've owned it for about six months. Uh, you can see that there's a there's a nice seasoned smoke build up on this. Um, the light, uh, as I was discussing in my previous video, is completely blacked over and is now virtually useless. I think the only thing that uh, is going to take the smoke layer off that light is probably some lacquer thinner and maybe a wire brush. Uh, it's pretty black. So we're gonna get around to the back of the grill here and we're gonna take the cover off and uh, see what's going on with this auger. So a couple things I wanna say before I start this is, I've had auger jams before in my Pit Boss and the Pit Boss had a very, very long horizontal throw auger. It was very difficult to get the the auger free of debris and free of being clean from any sawdust that may have congealed due to moisture. I'm a little disappointed because this grill is kept in my garage and I do empty out the pellets uh, when I'm not using it. Now, understandably, when you empty out the pellets from the bin, it doesn't empty the pellets from the auger. So obviously there is some moisture getting in, even though it's been sitting in my garage, it doesn't get any rain on it, doesn't get any weather on it. And the reason it sits in my garage is because this design from Weber uh, with this bin on the back here, and I forgot to mention these on my reviews, it makes this grill so wide, I can't pass it through the doorways to get it on my back deck. 
So you might want to think about that if you're buying one of these grills and you're going to put it on a deck or you have to carry it up a stairwell to a deck and you have uh, a narrow entranceway or a narrow railing to your deck, um, you're, you're going to have to lift this thing over your head to get it over and I don't have the help to do that. So right now this is a garage grill because I can't pass it through uh, any of the doorways and I'm not gonna get into a major product project in removing this hopper from this grill uh, to get it on the back porch. So for now, it's just gonna be a garage grill. But having said that, we gotta remove these four screws. We're gonna remove this panel. Uh, we're gonna unhook the motor. We're gonna pull out the motor and the auger assembly and we're gonna take a look uh, from there. Okay, so we got the cover off and you can see up in there, there is the motor assembly and the auger. We're gonna disconnect the power from that and we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna see what's going on. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. We have the three screws removed from the auger assembly. It looks like the, the wiring here might be in the way. Huh, well that's not what it said on the video. Uh, let's see what we got here. Well, there's our auger, and I think I know what the problem is. I think we broke off the shear pin um, that holds the auger uh, to uh, the auger motor. So, uh, looks like uh, our Weber smoke fire is going to be out of commission uh, for a while uh, until we are able to get a shear pin uh, for this. So that's rather interesting because I, I just mentioned on my uh, six month review that I haven't had any issues with this, but uh, well, I, I guess if you keep your smoke fire inside, oh, there it is. I guess if you keep your, oh, well, there's the shear pin and uh, it just did its job. It sheared off. Uh, so I guess the other piece of it somewhere down here in the bucket we're gonna have to look for that before we pour this back in uh yep uh, apparently we're gonna need a new shear pin uh to hold the auger and the auger motor a little disappointing uh like i said i just uh had did a six month review on this and i reported no issues uh now all of a sudden we have a repair <clears throat> well short throw auger uh from the rear feed um of the weber smoke fire uh that's about half the length of the horizontal throw uh, that was in my pit boss, but I've never had to replace a shear pin or any parts of the auger on my pit boss, and I had that for four years. So, I guess we have to contact Weber and find out how we can get a shear pin, uh, and then we'll have to put this back together. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, that auger is pretty clean. There's no wet buildup um, of any, it's just, it's not, there, there was, there was nothing on it uh, that really needed to be clean. And as I inspected it even closer, let me see if you can see this, um, it, it looks okay to me. So here's the motor assembly and the other piece of the shear pin was stuck in that shaft. Uh, and I, I, I'm kind of wondering, as I mentioned in my other videos, that my cooks were taking longer than typical, and I'm wondering if the shear pin was not installed correctly from the factory. I, I'm wondering if maybe this was just a, a mechanical issue or, or uh, a, a, just a, a crappy piece of metal that they use uh, for the shear pin. And all along this shear pin has been failing and then it just failed on me. Um, and uh, that's why my cooks were taking longer. Maybe the auger was slipping on the shaft. Uh, I don't know, um, but I'm definitely gonna call Weber on this one. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, order some shear pins to have uh, just in case this is a reoccurring issue. I really hope it isn't. But you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering um, if this is a manufacturing issue, because uh, again, as you can see, this, this auger was fairly clean. You saw it come out of the tube. It wasn't caked with anything. Um, and uh, the shear pin piece, I can't find it now, but it did fall right out of that motor shaft, the other half of it. So again, 
is this a manufacturing issue? Is this a design issue? Is this just a, a, a piece of crap shear pin issue? I, I don't know. Uh, but I'll get back to you when this gets installed and we'll see how it goes.